Okay. Hello and welcome. I'm Zilla. I'm Tortoise. And this is my ancient gaming stream, uh, which I do weekly on Saturdays. Um, we are playing through the game Heaven's Vault. This is part 16 of our playthrough, and uh, hopefully is not the surprise ending. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll probably just have a few more weeks of this either way. Um, if you are new to my ancient gaming streams, what I do here is I play games that have content that's related to ancient studies, and I talk about that. So Heaven's Vault has a lot of epigraphy and archaeology, the main character, Aaliyah, is a history grad student. And Tortoise has a specialty in puzzle design. Um, and since this game is all about sort of puzzling out an ancient language, he's been uh, commenting on the design features and keeping track of our ancient language glyphs in our handy branded Heaven's Vault notebook. Um, so this is an ideographic language which is to say that it is written in glyphs that have meanings rather than sounds. We don't know what most of it sounds like, although we've got a little tiny bit of spoken ancient. Um, so that's what we do here. That's what to expect. And if you want to start over from the beginning, you can always go check it out on my YouTube channel, which is Zilla's Athenaeum. Um, if you're here in chat, as always, feel free to say hi. I will be looking for your comments. And otherwise, please enjoy. Um, so the story so far. Aaliyah and Six have been looking for the missing roboticist, Janiki Renba, sent by Professor Miari to uncover the cause of the fall of Iox, which she believes is soon to return. Just to unpack that a little, Aaliyah is us, the main character. Six is our robot companion. Uh, We've discovered that Janiki Renba is almost certainly dead. Uh, Professor Miari is our grad advisor, whom we have a mm, accurately tempestuous relationship with. And the religion of the people of Iox, which is the university slash capital, uh, believe in the loop, which is to say that history repeats itself and that everyone is resurrected to perform the same actions over again. So the, the fall of Iox, she believes, is soon to return. That's what that's about. But ancient memories found inside a robot led Renba to a different discovery, a legendary <coughs> ship, the Heaven's Vault, which Renba believed could save the nebula from darkness. Using a similar device to the one the roboticist uncovered, Six has triangulated a possible location for the vault, but it lies impossibly far beyond the borders of the nebula. Meanwhile, Aaliyah has reached her most ancient site yet. And so where we are is an ancient and lush moon with a deep source of water. The ancient forest moon where the water goddess awaits. And we'll see what we need to do to get out of here. So we've discovered that if we uh, cover the hopper source, that will close the rivers that are being sent to Iox. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Let's look around, see what else is here. Something quiet? I heard something moving in the trees. Most likely, there are animals here. What kind of animals? Multiple kinds, a large number of types are required for the system to be sustainable. As I understand it, they eat each other. Oh, six. I feel like the goddess is looking at me. Where is she? She's atop those uh, ruins. Or looking at this spot, maybe. Was there once something around here? Strangely enough, there is something under the dust here. How exactly, what are you digging with? How, how exactly does Six, who has no hands, dig? I'm going to look for inscriptions. 
We've established multiple times that Six cannot, in fact, manipulate most physical objects, so I don't know how that happened. Okay, we've got a long phrase. I'm going to try and look at the beginning of it. Nope, that's what we get. Okay. <laughs> uh, I do not see robots. Um, I do see waters. Of the waters, sure. Mm. I don't see prey. I don't see robots. What does it want us to do? Let us roll to the left. Come on. Let me look. Uh, dang. Why is there a hatch in the middle of a forest? Because there is something underground. Something being hoppered away. Oh, we know what's being hoppered from here is the water. So let's take a look. No handle, no lock. So there is something here, yes, something hidden underground. Any idea of six? If you could step back. Was it meant to be operated by robots? Oh look, there's a, a watermark. The water glyph is on the top of the hatch. Indeed, there are connections here that fit. The mechanism is similar to those in the Steel Empire Mine and the, robot, and the uh, Empire Graveyard. So this is meant to be operated by robots. It has the ancient water glyph on it. What are you up to, Kibenya? Kibenya, the name of the water goddess we now know. Are you connected to Mercy after all? And is the statue covered in mushrooms? No? Why were you... I guess there was a thing about mushrooms earlier. But there are some more symbols inside the hatch, but it isn't ancient. It's some kind of diagram. Lines, nodes, but I don't know what it is. Let's look. Can't make anything out. Just darkness. See how far it goes. It's about seven meters. Any idea what's down there? Mushrooms? <laughs> it sounded like water, and I should think ideal conditions for mushrooms. There's some rope aboard the ship. There is approximately three and a half meters of rope. It would, it would not, not achieve, achieve anything. anything. It must, must be the water, Six. There's water underground that's being hoppered away, away. But, but this place is some kind of aquifer. So the hatch is it's an, an access, access panel to an underground, underground reservoir. Robots, robots could go down and clear it if it became blocked. Most likely a robot was positioned inside. The glass disc we Saw must have worked to hopper the water away when they're all blocked, it's got nowhere to go. And the ancients who built this place that the water got us here to look after the place. Who knows, perhaps Mercy once had the same setup. Now that's an intriguing thought. Multiple reservoirs to hopper the water away. doesn't seem to want to let us go down there or close the hatch. There might be other hatches nearby, maybe one with a ladder. There's a thought. I would hope you've had enough climbing down ladders to underground death traps. Never! <laughs> Is there another hatch? I wonder how far the forest stretches. The whole moon. Like an apple bristling with mold. You have a real thing against life, don't you? Oh, we are so snarky at each other. Something here. 
here? Stones? No, shells. But how did they get here? Perhaps the ancients used shells for currency? Is that an absurd idea? Not absurd. But any currency which can be grown is unlikely to work well. And yet, we do have, in the real world, evidence that shells at times have been used as currency. It's just that currency, as we perceive it as a finite resource, is not necessary to human civilization. We don't have to make things work that way. Perhaps the site was once entirely underwater. The shells we found once lived here. That's an idea. Then someone harvested that water using hoppers and that system has been working ever since. Iox itself relies on it. Over time, the two, two of the disc fails and the water level built up, enough to saturate the soil and grow the forest. That is not inconsistent with our findings, but it's a lot of assumptions. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a good working theory. So we have the option to close the rivers to Iox, and in fact we might end up having to, but all this life going on without knowing how removed it is from everything else. So this was a hopper too. Presumably so, blocked now by dirt and forest detritus. But curiously angled, there is nothing in this direction. We are at the edge of the nebula already. It can't have hoppered water to nowhere. This hopper source it would appear to be pointing in a direction similar to that of Renva's telescopes. The hopper is pointing to something outside the nebula, perhaps to heaven's vault itself. So how do we get there? To the site this aquifer once fed. The site, if there is a site, is across a vast tract of dead space, short of wishing a river into existence. I'm not sure we can get there. There is warmth here, not much but a little. Maybe this one is working under all the dirt. The eye this hopper transmits to is most likely a wellspring. We can clear the hopper. Because you have hands. I have hands. That makes sense. There. Is anything happening? Perhaps. A very faint flow upwards. Something maybe in the sky. It needs more water. We could feed it that water from Iox. Surely we cannot be correct. The wellsprings cannot surely all be fed by other wellsprings. Water and air must originate somewhere. Suppose you're right. Some wellsprings must be primary and others secondary. But who's to know where it all begins? Maybe we can find out. Is this the same road I came in on? We've acquired nothing of note here, although it seems this place is linked to Heaven's Vault itself. Okay. I'd like to operate the hopper now. Yeah, let's see if we can do other stuff. I'm not quite ready to throw Iox to the wolves. <laughs> um, so let's see where else we can go. There was one comment that Aaliyah made that I found really interesting, which is, you know, all this life not knowing how far disconnected it is from everything else. You know, in our, in our world we operate on the assumption that we are the only place with life, but that's not true of her world. The rivers here are not quite as they were. There is a faint new flow from the hopper I, oh, I cleared out. It's hard to say for sure. A new river. Not a river, a trickle. Where does it go? 
away, somewhere distant, to Heaven's Vault. I don't know, but surely it must be. Maybe we can come back here later. Okay. So, any comments on other stuff, Aaliyah? Let's find Sticky. Sticky! Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi, friend. This is our lizard, Sticky. Sticky is great. Okay. No particular comments. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you so mad, Six? <laughs> Usually we only get that frowny face when we propose doing something particularly silly. Um, so it looks like Elbereth is actually the only place that it will allow us to go right now. Huh. I mean, I don't mind going to Elbereth. We'll get some more clues there, maybe something from Oroi. And it's all on new rivers, maybe there will be ruins. to the right. Let's go right. But yeah, it's it's really interesting. Um, <laughs> Let's wander off, shall we? I wonder what the uh, what the map says. But it's interesting to think about what assumptions. You It doesn't show us the map at all. That's very strange. Um, but the assumptions that you make growing up in a world where your little moon is just a backwater and everybody else lives on other moons. It's a very different sort of thing. That word the pigs told Amir. I'm going to try it on the Elbereth gate. Yeah, there's the thought. But if it works, I don't know what I'll do. Surely you would like to do something interesting. Pigs, six. <laughs> How will anyone take me seriously if I start taking hints from pigs? Oops. I didn't actually mean to take the left-hand river, but that's fine. Let's get lost. Not too lost, though. Are we back on the map yet? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't look like we are off track. I don't know, Aaliyah. How do you take yourself seriously anyway? <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair, hints about the past come in strange guises sometimes. Like, sometimes from a religious text we learn about a historical place that we never otherwise would have uncovered or you know we find texts in burial shrouds and mummy wrappings um it's you know it's probably not actually pigs right it's amir <laughs> but what if it were pigs what if it were pigs? Well, then we uh, name them Anwen and uh, give them their own special plot. Um, <laughs> that is a Black Cauldron reference for, for those in the audience wondering. <laughs> and probably Tortoise. <laughs> uh, yes, 
Yes, there is a prophetic pig in the Black Cauldron series. Um, the, the prophetic animal thing is not unheard of, you know? Like, the, there's, there's stuff with pigs in the Bible, too, isn't there? Like, the, the Christian Bible? I don't know, I'm not as familiar with the Christian Bible. But here we are, back in the Eagle's Pass, probably not too far from home. But even like other video games, there's a, a prophetic sand seal in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Speaking of Breath of the Wild, um, I am going to be taking a hiatus after we finish Heaven's Vault for the months of June and July. Um, I usually only take a two week hiatus, but I'm going to be doing some live streaming Archeo gaming for the Save Ancient Studies Alliance. Um, if you want to follow me over there, I'll be doing Fridays mostly at 4.30 ADT. Uh, playing Breath of the Wild and then Tears of the Kingdom. Home sweet home. So, shall we uh, approach the gate? What were we going to say to the gate? Set Yalkir far. Can try something else. Let's try Ifarali. That's the ancient pig part. Set Afarali, set Boyaki Katifar. It works. Maybe it works. But what now? It's asking where you would like to go. What? Let's try Iox. Silen Ang. Set Boyaiki Katifar. Mercy? So Silen is related to the word slicit, I think, that we tell. Um, How is it spelled? Silen Ang is S-I-L-E-N dash A-N-G. <coughs> These go by fast, too fast for me to catch all of them. Uh-huh. And then set is the question word. Boyaiki katifar. Kat kiss is the citadel. Kat means high, I think. Oh no, kiss is high. Yeah, so I think of kat as <coughs> place. And then Ifaralis was the, like, the, the word we used. Right. Malifar means to fall, or the fall. Mm. So go high might mean travel hop by hopper, by distance hopper. See you then. <laughs> okay, the gate is ancient. I need an ancient name. So, I know how to make it listen, but I don't know what it, you could say. All the no names are ancient, and the only name I know is Elbereth, which isn't much use. Well, we could go up to Elbereth. Kibenya. Yeni Huasala. Kalatli. Yeah, we've seen that before. And then Sala is also part of that curse word, Salewa. Some kind of insult. So we are starting to get a little bit of, of how spoken ancient works, but really not as much as I would like. Let's go visit everybody here, shall we? Tell me you do not intend to sell the crown. I'm not selling the crown. Just 
just want to know what he has for me. Maybe we can get some hints to that other site. Hello, Tappy. Greetings, Olivia. You're looking at a broken man. Something's the matter. I have failed. I've spent enough hours shouting at the Citadel to make most people... I've achieved nothing. I found the word myself. Spill, Olivia. Spill like an overflowing cup. <laughs> What's it worth to you? <laughs> Enough of your tiresome haggling. Oh, wow. If Toppy is tired, tiresome, tired of haggling, then <laughs> he really is annoyed. I would try it. I forgot we asked him to try, but that's very funny. So, how are things on Elvareth? You know, much the same. Whenever anything changes around pe here, people claw it back, good or bad. Picked up a few things you might be interested in. Uh, let's show him the chipped amulet. Very nice. What a delicate piece. I might be able to make you an offer. Here we are. A heavy roll of play paper, blank, but for some unreadable characters, and some readable characters, apparently. All right, a new inscription for us to play with, at last. And we can see, it starts with this. This book, that seems logical for a piece of paper. Um, that's some kind of past tense verb there. And then we do have gates, or whatever this word is. So that's probably going to break it up into words. Pretty, pretty confident of those guesses. Oh, but it didn't. Uh, Do we have word? Because I think I see word in there. No. <coughs> huh. Huh. Oh, what it, what is word? Looks like Okay, so it's this Oh no, it's not word. Um We have a we have a verb and an adjective. The verb is a past tense. What happens if we put the ofs that we know are wrong in there? I suppose. Ugh. Presumably there used to be more to it than that. It comes from the same source as the book should help us work out how to look for the ancient site. Oh yes, I will take that. What a fine piece it really is. He doesn't know it's worth, but... Let's, uh... Show him a piece of... Oh, yeah, there was a piece of math. You spoil me, he says. Oh, I'm glad he likes it. A hefty book bound in leather. Oh, yes. Yes, yes please. The end of a longer line of text, so maybe in another playthrough we'll get more. Again, we start with... This book verb tells speaks. That looks true. like true. All right. Finally, a successful parsing. And we've confirmed the word for true. So this is noun past. Now, interestingly, in 
the notebook. In the back of the notebook are a few glyphs that Aliyah worked out beforehand. And one of them is that which uh, she determined was history. So, so story? story, I guess. I don't Sounds good, good to me. me. Excellent. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Sounds good. All right, this is already a fruitful trip. And that's all for Tappy. Don't get any less beautiful, he says. Uh... Good. No, it's not. I want to see Aurora before we go. Very good. Hey, Six is not complaining. That's impressive. I guess Six likes Aurora. <laughs> Pardon me. I do hate passing the slave market. If I recall correctly, uh, someone was telling us that you can you can get the slave the the slave seller to respect you grudgingly, uh, but I don't know that I want her respect. <laughs> Maybe I'll be. Uh, you should know that I'm most suspicious. Suspicion is bad for the soul. Six. <laughs> It'll give you wrinkles. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> really, I think we have a good friendship. <laughs> Six snarks, I snark back, and it all works. <laughs> Mistress. I'm not gonna strike again, not unless she really doesn't come out. Come on, Roy. You know you're curious. There she is. Aaliyah, what can I do for you? Well, first, I want to show her the telescope. Look at this thing. I found a way out on the moon covered in ancient panels. It's beautiful. Some kind of telescope. Set up to collect something. It's probably packed for with information. If only you could read it. Can you read it? I should have thought so. Whatever this thing was recording, we hacked, stored. If you knew what it was supposed to be, then maybe you could read it, but you couldn't guess. Still, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, I hope you might look into it further. I don't know what I'd do. Take it to pieces, most likely. Ancients were recording something. Something is happening out there. A darkness is coming. Won't do any good. You can barely handle what's happening here, Leah. <laughs> I found a site that's too far from the rivers to reach. Further than anywhere I've been. Off the rivers? There's a whole vast space between the rivers. And it's not as empty as it should be. But without the rivers, there's no air to breathe. Nightkel can only hold so much. You need a river, then. Even if you could get me, some of those gravity crystals might get you there, but back and forth before you suffocate? Probably not. I thought you could make me some air tanks, maybe. I could fit them to the ship. How many? How much air? Enough for a day? Two days? How are you going to cross empty space anyway? Rivers don't come and go because you asked them to. Maybe they do. We're not sailing for some rock. It's a place. So there was a river once, but now it's gone. Even if that were true, you can't just whistle for it to come back. What even is a river? You sail more than me. Where do they come from? Where do they start? Do you know? Water on Ajax comes from Elbereth. Washes back out into space. There's no wellspring there at all, then. But if there was a wellspring, maybe it would flow off moon as a river. Well then, you just need to make a wellspring. 
Maybe, Maybe the, the water, water goddess, goddess will help you out. They worship the water goddess on Mercy. I was joking, Al. By the rivers and dirt, what's wrong with you? You can't make a river any more than you can flip Elbereth on its back. Even if you could, you couldn't tell, which way, tell it which way to flow. What if there was a river before? A new river might follow the same course. It might, if it starts from the same place, but rivers don't just vanish, and they don't just appear. Sorry about your distant star, L, but maybe, just maybe, you're stuck down here with the rest of us for once. Ah, we've offended her. Alas. Arroyo is not in for speculation. It's highly illogical. Well, perhaps we should go see Timor. Get flirted at some more. <laughs> Drink some maca. It's interesting that she called me an L. Cause that's, it's not my first name. It's my last name. Whatever the, uh, the ancient, ancient language, language is, it's, it's not a Semitic language, as far as I can, well, it's not a, an existing Semitic language, as far as I can tell. Um, it doesn't have a place we found, it must have been quite exclusive ones, yeah, that's true. Um, but it, like, it, it might, might have, have roots. roots, it definitely it seems to be doing the root changing thing, but like the, the phonology of it doesn't match up with Hebrew or Arabic, but Aaliyah's name does. Aaliyah is a name that, I mean, that you might get in, in Arabic or Hebrew. I know in Hebrew it means um, a journey, a return, most often, Aliyah is somebody who lives in the Jewish diaspora returning to Israel permanently. Um, but it does have the more general meaning. The name Elboreth as well sounds Hebrew or Arabic, but the rest of ancient really does not. Like in both Elboreth and Elasra, it could be that El comes from like Al, the mm -hmm. definite article. Right. That's that's exactly my thought. Why don't you like robots, Timor? They don't buy drinks, do they? Yeah, sure. That's the reason. You should relax, Timor. You're too good to me, Timor. Most likely. <laughs> it's not the robots I mind, you know. It's the way they're always listening. A person should be free to say the wrong thing sometimes. Uh, you're an old romantic, Timor. You're hard on me, Aaliyah, though you know any time you want to move back to Elgareth. One, One day, maybe. Don't, Don't hold your breath. breath. I never, never hold my breath. breath. <laughs> Don't, Don't you have, have anything, anything for me, Timor? You want another rocket? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Maybe, maybe he'll, he'll tell me something more. more. This place, place seems quiet. quiet. It'll have, have to do. To. Now look here, I have a present for you. Aha! It's another map. You, you like the last one, one. I do like, like maps. Both in-game and out. 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 
some kind of symbols along a flow. Blotted piece from an even longer phrase. God, you will. Our nice clear modal there. That looks like find. Then a noun I don't recognize. Adjective, I don't recognize. And then way. And of course. What? No, it worked. Okay, good. It's a long one, but I'm sure it translates to fine. Excellent to get confirmation on that. How you doing, Tortoise? You need me to pause for a second so you can No, I got it. Okay. So that's place of no go. Place no go. Uh, don't, don't go, go in, in the, the mine. mine. <laughs> um, bottom? I would expect that to be no high. What about, what about I mean, it's, it's not, not mercy. mercy. I don't it could be port because that's where you arrive rather than, I mean, you can leave a port as well. But. I guess. And then adjective, adjective not, not life. life. Uh, no, not, that's not life, that's like... Oh, that's heat. heat. So, so, I guess, I guess cold. cold. You will find the port of a cold way. Well, maybe it is bottom, then. That does sound... Must, Must have been common to travel these, these two locations. locations. We'll make the inside. You have my gratitude. Thanks, Timor. Good faith to you. Okay. It's rude to leave before finishing your drink. Uh, but that's all that Timor has for us today, it looks like. Not bad. Come on, Six. Time to find a new place. Let's go. How are we doing on time? Oh, we've got a bit yet. Okay. curious, if you look at the timeline, how long has it been since we started playing? Mm. Like, I know we have stuff going back thousands of years, but... Sure. It's not really clear to me what the time span of our actions is. Let's see. You can zoom with ZL and ZR. Okay, let's zoom out. So it's been nearly a day since we were at the aquifer. For a month. Looks like about 40 days. Yeah, I wonder if that. Yeah, there it is. That's where Miari gives me the brooch. So that is about 40 days ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Interesting. Not really important for. 
not a particular Let's start sailing, I guess. What? That's not what I clicked. So I guess you can let uh, six just take you. Yeah, yeah there's, there's always, always an option, option to let six sail to preset, preset places. places. But since the... There we go. Six can't sail us to places where we're not sure of the exact destination. So, now we get to check out this other ancient site that I want to see before we head out to the Heaven's Vault. You know, on the scale of places like Elbereth, I wonder if you could flip it upside down. Like, like Aurora was sort of joking about. Well, if you have a lever and a place to stand... Wah, wah, wah. But, I just mean like, you know, you have, you have all of the... So these places are not full-size planets. They don't even appear to be round. Um, it, does look like you could get leverage if you had a big enough boat and were sailing on the river. I wonder how much of this place is human constructed, you know? How does one make a river? Well, one hoppers water out of an aquifer, apparently. Since rivers can also evaporate, that does suggest a sort of finite limit on how long this can continue. Even more than that, you know, Aaliyah and Oroi were talking about it like the rivers carry their own atmosphere, which I suppose they must. If, if the Nightingale doesn't have tanks already. So to some degree they count on that, uh, dissolution of the rivers to make oxygen. Mm. Guess nothing new to talk about. suppose that uh, once you once you find that aquifer moon it really expects you to go straight to end game from there I'm probably I, I'm looking at this and thinking maybe next week we will finish the game um, but we'll see unless something particularly opens up after we go to this ancient site then yeah but I don't think there will be
Oh, unknown rivers, you say? Let's see what the map has to say. That's not particularly unknown, is it? I guess we just haven't been this way, but that's fine. I wish we just kept Amir on the boat. <laughs> Have you become river pirates? Yeah. I mean, in in some sense, we already are river pirates, right? Like, we're not authorized by anybody but ourselves to be on the river. And Iox doesn't seem to approve, particularly. And uh, we keep... Picking stuff up doesn't technically belong to us. Selling it to Fence on Elbereth. I mean, we aren't attacking anybody, but that doesn't mean much. There's nobody on these rivers to attack, particularly. Yeah, I suppose that if the um, if the rivers generate their own oxygen, then the areas of less flows are probably pretty scary. I mean, Aaliyah obviously doesn't have the best lung capacity. Um, you know, when when the environment is harsh, she starts to get that little health bar. Although you can't die in this game, you just, like, pass out. And are usually hovered back to safety. Mm -hmm. You can't die, and as far as I know, you can't get stranded. Although you can be forced into endgame. probably have some ruins to look at. That is what I'm hoping for. I would like some ruins, please. That is definitely not the first time in my life, or the only context in which I've said, I would like some ruins, please. Ruin on the left, yay! Let's go find it. Where is it? Gimme. Is that it? Is that the ruin? That's not on the left. Almost looks like a goddess statue, though. Oh, we're going over here because I see the ruin. Dates from ancient times. Yes. A rusted compass embossed with a depiction of a ship. Must have come from nearby. Characters. Yes! Let's do some epigraphy! Broken fragment from an even longer phrase. God. Sky. The sky god. Makes, makes sense. Uh, we don't appear to have this verb. Verb. Hold. 
connector down high. And then it looks life. like life on the river. Confirmation on life and a pawn. Excellent. So. Hold high. With possible connotation of wind or mental. Sky God knows life upon the rivers, uh, certainly not looks, breathes life along the rivers, blows life along the rivers, all of those actually seem plausible to me. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I guess breathes makes the most sense to me in the context of the sentence. And none of them, I'm, none of the readings I'm particularly compelled by from the glyphs themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I, I agree. Um, and it could even relate to what we were just talking about with the atmosphere on the rivers. Right, that's what I was sort of thinking. A blessing for safe passage, perhaps. So, what Must was that? Must be near actually? the place we're after. Excellent. Can we see other ruins on the map? Ooh, we can. We've got several of them actually outside the site itself. Let's plot a course for that one. So what? I want more ruins. No, it does. If you go left, it'll... Oh, all right. I see. Oh, it might be too late. Ah, ah. Maybe it'll let me go back. Okay. I do think it's interesting when the river clearly flows along a solid surface like this, that there's not life here. There's no, there's no plants, there's no people. When it doesn't seem, from this angle at least, any different from any of the moons. days of the nebula, a chart filled with mathematical computations, but no inscription. <laughs> Made on the site we're searching for. So let's go back to the map. Go back in. Water 
is to the left. Let's go. Let's see what's out here, Six. Root goes left up ahead. So should we. Yeah, I find it fascinating that we have this sort of ridge of almost mountains mm -hmm. just going along the river. I mean, it does make sense that wherever the mass of the rivers is or the mass of the rocks is where mass would congregate in a nebula. But it also is just just strange to have this vast rocky space under the water. Possible search locations? You should check. Um, really, only one that's within the search zone. And this just loops back on itself. It'll take us there. Yeah. Well, we are headed straight there, apparently, so. Not long now. Must be it up ahead. Is something here and hop her down. This might be the oldest site yet. Even older than the aquifer moon? Hmm. I guess I want to check the timeline on that. Off statue. Six. I don't feel right. It's the air here. There's not enough. You'll feel dizzy, lightheaded, and nauseous, and eventually pass out. How long? Seven minutes. But that number is decreasing. No time to waste then. Yeah, and I don't think the timer pauses when you... Nope. There was a statue here. Just like the one on Elbereth. Not much to go on, though. There's an inscription. 
Oh. I don't think the pause or timer, pause or timer pauses for that, but. Well, then I will go quickly, and we can describe it later. Uh, that doesn't look right, but yeah, I noticed. Oh, divine is wrong. I think it's just part of a longer thing then. Yeah. Probably have to put in God of Winds, but be told it's wrong. Oh. Oh. All right. God of. Could be boat. I think it's boat. The God of Ships. The god of a ship. Wonder what happened to the rest of it. Perhaps they took it with them. They left this place. Why would they leave the feet behind? Loose fitting door. It's been squeezed off its hinges. I should be able to push through. There it goes. It's not moving. I don't have the strength out here. So little air. I may? Well, yeah, you got motors. Go for it. Doof. You're usually not happy with my destruction. Impressive. I can feel it chewing at me, but look at this place. Oh. I think this place is ancient. Older than anything we've seen before. I agree, but the materials, the construction, they're old. But I would not say they're primitive. Well, no, the same art as those on Elbereth. What happened to the place? Where did they go? I suppose they traveled. They spread. Spread. These people were settlers. These are shelves? If there were scrolls on these shelves, fire reduced them to ashes. And the wind swept the ashes away. Are these the people who built the robots? The people who built you? Ancient sailors. Wonder if there are ancient settlers. Still. Oh, look. It's been a long time, and we have not seen their boats. I mean, that's true, but we don't see anybody's boat. Stairs leading up. Luckily, they were sturdily built. Like the cat kiss. <gasps> look at this book. It's an enormous book. On a curved metal stand. It's a beautiful piece of work heavy, ornate. The book, it's unscathed. Take the book. Can't leave this here. But it's chained to the stand. The cover. There are symbols in the leather. History of lost future? Ooh. The history of the lost future. Wow. Could be loop related. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, the, the book of prophecies? <laughs> Pull it free, Aaliyah. Do it. Take it with us. I want to read it. Maybe. Oh, I can't. I can't even lift it right now. Well, let's read it then. It's chained shut. I'll have to leave the book behind. No. Wong would kill me if he found out. 
The floor is not sound. Oh, I was so hoping. Inlaid circles in the floor. This one's inscribed around the edge. Well, it's a long one. It's a phrase run together. Uh, let's see. All I see was. Gave, not give. Oh no, that's not the past, it's a noun form. Um, I don't know, that could be home, it could not be. Uh, probably not. Really, clearly a past tense of give there. Probably gift of water was given for home or given for Yeah. Beautifully set by the window. Looking across the dust. Seems to have escaped the fire. You can still see the doodle scratched in the locker by whoever worked here. In ancient, of course. Decorated. Whoever burned this place made sure to loot it first. Must have been another level up here. Maybe several. Now there's just a drop. I feel like there's a place up there where you can look down. Maybe. It's hard to. Don't make me waste time talking about it. Okay, she's coming down whether I want her to or not. Oh! I think so. There won't be when this bit of floor gives way next. I wish I could jump. There is sand. Probably jump down into it. Please. You're not a cheerful girl of six years. With six, I don't think I can move. You're not injured. Jump. Into the sand. Not so far. Since what happened with that plank broke on Renba's dig site, the probability of a safe landing is quite high, as is the probability of running out of air. Then I'd better jump. Indeed. Alright, you made it. <gasps> Is the book free? Give me the book. No! No, the, the book! <sighs> I'm not sure it's possible to get. that's a good place to stop. Most likely next week will be the last stream of Heaven's Vault. We are very close to the end of this game. Uh, it continues to be just a wonderful game to play. I hope you are all having as much fun as I am. And uh, after we finish Heaven's Vault, just a reminder, I will be taking a hiatus for the months of June and July, but you can find me over at the Save Ancient Studies Alliance channel instead. So keep learning, friends. <laughs>